Okay, so one caveat I should put in is um, I have slides for various research groups that are going down there. The number of uh, the amount of screen real estate is related to the number of pictures I've got for them, not their importance. So please hang on to that as we go through. So I'm going to try and give you an overview of the, the new campus and indeed some other initiatives that are going to be enable us to do uh, more research. An overview, I'll talk about the research ethos for Temple Quarter. I'll talk about the groups we're taking down there and beyond Temple Quarter, the DETI uh, initiative. And the key thing that we're talking about here is co-developing of values, co-developing um, research and responsibility for that. So this is a, an overview of, the, of the, the buildings. So there's the main academic building. And the key thing I wanted to bring across here is it's very close not only to a transport hub, but also to two incubation units. So unit DX for wet labs and engine shed for generic uh, companies. And so it's important that actually we'll be delivering UK and local industrial strategy for inclusive growth through Temple Quarter. Three main areas. Our main area is digital information, informatics engineering, and that's focusing on the BDFI and, and QTIC. So the vision, the key words here are global and local scope, co-location with partners, and co-produced methodologies and outcomes. So it is about partnership and opening up to the outside world, both uh, nationally but also, importantly, locally. And it's underpinned by five pillars. So facilitating knowledge co-production, making it real through platforms, generating challenge-driven research, fostering business and social innovation, and creating local impact and education to develop the skills locally to power those, those companies. So the groups that we're taking down, first of all, communication systems and networks, um, things like city-scale Wi-Fi, cellular and IoT experimentation, uh, <coughs> connected, but not autonomous vehicles, of course. We wouldn't do autonomous vehicles down there, would we, after the last talk. Uh, High-performance networks. So this is about, for example, networks, technologies for smart cities and what that can do for Bristol. And it's about really the confluence of software and networks and how we manage and uh, manipulate those networks in the future. Digital health, uh, so we have the person here in pink, and then there's the digital part here, which is sensing, decision prediction, and intervention to improve their well-being, all done in a very co-designed way. So we've got one academic at the table and all the end users around the table to co-design what that solution should look like. We're taking the Visual Information Laboratory, which broadly speaking is split into computer vision type applications and audience appreciation applications, and I'll talk a bit more about that when we talk about the facilities later on. I don't know what the horse with the camera on the head is. Um, that one's beyond me, I'm afraid. And the other groups, we have cryptography going down, we have cybersecurity, intelligent systems lab for our AI and machine learning, and the Bristol Interaction Group. Uh, this is a device for force feedback, um, not just what you put on your website. OK, so one of the key pillars for the, what we're delivering at Temple Quarter is the Bristol Digital Futures Institute, co-led by uh, Dimitri Simeonadou from our school and um, Susan Holford from uh, Social Sciences. Two key pillars, seamless engagement in partnership with industry, and I forget the other one <laughs> now. So examples of key challenges. Uh, living with in machine intelligence. So there's obviously a whole lot of AI and ethics research there, but questions. Who makes the decisions? What are, what's the accountability and responsibility? What sort of human agency are we going to have that involve people outside the school? Similarly, d democratizing data operations. We know a lot about how to do the data operations, but we can't do that by ourselves in terms of what are the societal models, who owns the data, what are the trading, the trading routes that we have for data, and so on. That has to be taken in by other people. Briefly, on the Quantum Technology Innovation Center, that's essentially an innovation center focused on quantum and related technologies. So it's a bit like Engine Shed and Unit DX, but one for quantum uh, communications and quantum computing as well. Um, OK, so the facilities that we've got down there, we have the neutral labs, which are places where people can come together from multiple disciplines and multiple organizations in a neutral space and co-design research. And the reality emulator, which is a physical or virtual environment to allow the com study of complex socio-technological problems. We can have an instrumented auditorium, which enables us to measure audience experience when they're watching a film, for example, and the digital health node, which enables us to set up a, a living environment in the Temple Quarter campus that we can then test out our ideas for digital health in. Up in uh, the National Composite Center, a new initiative funded by, by WECA, the, the, the combined authority, is around digital engineering, technology, and innovation. And that is doing something similar to Temple Quarter, but focusing on digital engineering and manufacturing. 
It's looking at digital design, so how to design things in a way for the whole life cycle for recovery and, ma and maintenance at the end. Digital manufacturing, and um, the aim is to try and be able to design a new, say, jet engine in two years rather than ten. So, to conclude, Temple Quarter provides us not a pathway to impact, but a motorway to impact. We're piloting at One Cathedral Square, we're piloting with LV, and you'll hear about that later on, and our mini BDFI that will be done uh, on, uh, somewhere on the Clifton end. Opportunities are inclusive and not exclusive, so come and join us. Mm -hmm.